strong. Good morning, Moose Warriors. This is Ethan, and today is, is Friday, October 9, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. Remember, warriors, to follow the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. Are you tired of reading the same stories over and over again, and you want something fun to read? If so, go check out some of the amazing stories at boothwarriortimes.com. Warriors, on October 13th, there will be a parent schoology session in the Media Center from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. on October 14th. There will be another session from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Please let your parents know about these sessions. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is CJ connecting groups A and B. In the sixth grade, the A and B group have combined and are coming four days a week. Starting Monday, the seventh graders are going to come four days a week. On the 19th of October, the eighth graders will also be coming four days a week. So if you have a friend on the opposite of a group, be sure to say hello. On the 26th, the Fayette, all Fayette County grades will be coming five days a week. Pretty soon, A and B group will be gone. Will you miss coming two days a week, or are you ready for coming all five? One last reminder, just because both groups are combined, you still have to practice physical distancing. This is CJ connecting groups A and B. Remember to stay safe, warriors. According to the National Day Calendar, October is National Bullying Prevention Month. It's always important to talk about the dangers of bullying and the trauma it can cause. Warriors, you can use your voice to speak up extra loud. Research shows that bullying often leaves lasting negative effects on those who are bullied. By speaking out, spreading kindness, and finding your other roles in bullying prevention, you're making schools and other environments safer and happier places. We must send a message that bullying will not be tolerated in our communities, and now is the perfect time to start. Don't forget, a warrior is always responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And now for the character lesson. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Haley with a few words of wisdom. Take a moment to remember the last time you worked hard to accomplish something. Maybe you worked hard to save money for something special, or maybe you worked hard cleaning and organizing the room. When you work at something and see the result of that hard work, all the effort becomes worthwhile. There is a great feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction. You feel good about yourself. Booker T. Washington was one of America's great educational leaders, believed strongly in the power of education and hard work. Here's what, he here's what he has to say to us today. Nothing ever comes to one. This is the result of having, except as a result of hard work. Is there something worth having? Today, work a little harder and move closer to what you want. Then see if you feel better about yourself at the end of the day. For something to think about, this is Haley, and maybe the grades are or not, the choice is always yours. Good morning, group warriors. This is Will bringing you the weather for Friday, October 9, 2020. The high for today will be 79, and the low will be 69, with a 20% chance of rain. Over the weekend, you can expect a high of 77 and a low of 67, with a 70% chance of rain. It will be rainy this weekend. Have a great day, warriors. What do you kind of call a line of rabbits uh, hopping backwards? What? What? A receding hairline. I can't take it anymore. These people have been calling me names and it's really hurt my feelings. That's how you meet before. That must be hard. Huh? Are you oh. upset? Yes. Y'all mind if I sit down and join you? Sure. 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 Yes. 
So, I overheard you say that you're having a tough time with someone. Yeah. What are they doing? They're calling me mean names that are really hurting my feelings. And you just had enough of it. Yeah. I can imagine that's really hurtful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, you want it to stop? Yes. All right. Do any of y'all have suggestions on how he could stop these people? Do you know what you could do? You could ignore them, and then they could probably stop. Or you could tell a trusted adult. Okay. That's a good idea. She's saying you could ignore them because they're doing it to get attention. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to make you feel bad. So if you don't act like you're feeling bad, then they haven't accomplished what they want. Well, now they may keep trying. But ignoring is hard, but it is effective. And then there is something else you could do, and she mentioned tell a trusted adult. You can tell an adult, so if something like this is happening at school, then we can intervene for you. And we can get the person to become aware that this is not going to be tolerated. And that they don't have the right to hurt other people on purpose. Okay? Okay. Come and see me though if it doesn't stop. All right? Yes, ma'am.